it is time to create our form which is going to be an order placement and i'm going to use it to mimic what i have on our sales reminder list so i'm back right here i'm going to call my form order you know placement so that's the form for placing order and then right here i'm going to start with uh, what's the customer number all those kind of thing oh maybe let's have the you know customer first name the last name the mailing address that i know that that is good it's suggesting this thing for us uh, i think those three are good uh, mailing uh, let's put email address and mailing address as well all right so i'm going to insert this add attached so we have first name of the customer the last name the mailing address which i'm going to make a multiple uh, long test i'm going to insert gender gender so i'm going to add right here female and here male all right it's also required let's be sure that everything here they are all required okay required required and for gender i'm going to make it drop down right there by clicking on this button and say drop down i'm also going to move it up so that it's after first name last name that's the next thing that i have all right which i've done now i need the email address of the customer so i'm going to add new and say customer email address after this i'm going to add another choice products so what products uh yeah what product is the person buying so they just list some 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 training product let's assume is a placement for training and what are the training product that's a power automate yeah i'm gonna say power bi i'm gonna add power apps i'm gonna add a power virtual agents right. then we're gonna have another feed called amount paid all right so we have amount paid and i'm gonna make it number so add restrictions and become number and the number should be at least greater than i can set the value right there uh, because it's in naira so our training the list of our training is actually fifty thousand naira so it should be greater than forty nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine all right okay so we have amount paid we have um products uh, let's say training are we interested in training date okay yep let's add date and say training commencement date so training commencement date then the mailing address do we are doing the mailing address we don't actually we don't need mailing address of the customer after a after this i think we are fine uh then organization we can ask uh maybe let's delete this and create um yeah employment status so when building solution you should pay attention to the data because one day you might have analytical needs reporting needs and do you have the information available this is why it's important to always make sure that the needful information not just for placing this order but for all the analytical needs do you have them and uh, not necessarily adding more fits your information but at least getting the minimum viable uh, information that is needed to process and better serve the customer so i'm going to put here student and right here i'm going to add um serve employed i'm going to add um yep employed and i'm going to have unemployed so we have four categories of course i, I always like making my options a drop down so this is a drop down now uh i'm good let's apply team here because it's order placement uh, okay but it's for training so um let me let me just find something that I can use all right let's use this okay spot pool if i put it on the preview i'm going to see other placement the first name the last name your gender the customer email address the product the amount paid the employment status i need to change product as well to drop down all right products to drop down all right so now we're good to go and this is our form all right we created this in the next video we're going to create a database